EVs a year back was less than 2% of the passenger vehicle market and about the same as a percentage of the SUV market. This year, as we've led into what we are calling Scream Electric event, so it's a sea change. Today, uh, the EV penetration in H1 uh, for us was uh, over 8% in quarter two. So when I was talking to Pratap about joining us, he said, what am I going to come there and do? And I said, we're going to launch some really exciting EVs. That was in 2021. And uh, honestly, that's what we had at that stage, which is we're going to launch some exciting EVs. That's the sketch uh, that, uh, as the story goes, Pratap sat in a cafe with a couple of his colleagues and sketched. And of course, you see that product on the road, uh, starting with a sketch and saying, let's make it. You know, Challengers got onto a mission and said, yes, we will make it happen. And uh, we look kind of galvanized uh, 2,500 people over 18 months, uh, literally, you know, reallocating his resources. The average age of the team which made this happen was 34 years. Uh, that's how young uh, this team was. The manufacturing teams ramped up and, you know, we have uh, now over 2,000 people working on the EV uh, plants uh, in, the, in the EV shops and a very large number, 30-40% of them are women as well. And 30% of the customers have done more than 400 kilometers in a day. So we're clearly seeing EV in a phase of revolution. There's some great stories that make it all worth it. Another customer went from Kochi to Kashmir, multiple weather zones, uh, 17 days, 9,000 kilometers. Do you know the scientist called Ernest Julius was studying the ears and he found there is a semicircular canals and there is a fluid in it. And in the origin of the human beings, when they were chasing the prey or they were chasing ev themselves away from the danger, the canals detect that there is a success if you run faster. And once it detects, it segregates neurochemicals, endorphins, all Adrenalines, it pumps up you. It puts you focus, it puts you determination to succeed. And once you succeed, it again rewards you to get back again the same status. And that's how we evolved here. So there is an acceleration. And there is a connection to our human origin. And maybe there is a connection to our SUVs as well that we will discuss later. But then I really wanted to support Fred. And we really worked for three years and we got this acceleration problem solved. The goal was, how can we explain people that electric cars can be fun, fast, sexy, and you can have a lot of uh, attraction for those cars? That the FIA and Formula E had this idea of creating a championship. Mahindra realized that it was a place to be to prepare the future. And definitely, this is the only team there since the very beginning as a manufacturer and able to be still there for, for, for the current season. Reliability is a must, but performance is what you need to find. And then that performance is not stopping on one day. It's stopping never. You have to develop every day, every week, every month. We have a development program to make sure that the car is improving and able to perform even better from one race to another, from one season to another. Last season was a season where that car went on track. We were not so sure of where we will be. Uh, and the season has gone uh, in, a, in, a, in a way with good moments and less good moments. But definitely what has been great is the final result. But the, the, the clear goal we have is um, hearing the national anthem of uh, India on a podium because we want to win races and make uh, all India proud of the job done. First of all, congratulations to the entire Mahindra team <laughs> and finally to the racing team also for a great unveiling which is planned today. Now, Valvoline is very, very excited and I take a lot of pride in standing along with the Mahindra team today as an exclusive lubricant partner for Mahindra Racing. Valvoline has been doing a lot of innovation on, uh, on the EV fluids globally. Now, even before the, the buzzword on electric mobility came into action, Valvoline was deeply entrenched into creating EV fluids. And that's where I think this entire journey of ours will help a lot of us while we test our capabilities 
at the track, on the track. Uh, we run, of course, uh, the tech and the software behind it. So we have a platform called Rubicon. Uh, and, and that, during the race, as you can imagine, a uh, big Formula One fan, and now, of course, a Formula E fan uh, with this. Well, first of all, thanks for the warm welcome. It's, uh, it's a fantastic opportunity, the opportunity actually to be here in India, in uh, Bangalore, uh, to, to show you a little bit uh, our, uh, our new car for the next season. Nick, on the race weekend, what happens? I think uh, on track you kind of see the result of all the work that goes into it uh, outside the race weekends, uh, outside the racing season. We obviously uh, go racing across the world, but actually uh, I think the, 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 the most important part in order to be successful on track is all the preparation that goes into it. And So yeah, so Fred, the livery is a very interesting part of, of the job, I think. It has to achieve five things, in my view. You know, there's been lots of iconic race <coughs> liveries. Uh, which is your favorite livery, by the way, from the 11 seasons we've done so far? The one we will be champion with. Yay! So that's season 12. <laughs> okay. So, season 12. One is continuity. As soon as you see it, you have to recognize it to be a Mahindra, uh, you know, Formula E car. It cannot be uh, mistaken for any other team. Then, if you look at the, the top of the car, there are 12 stripes. And those 12 stripes represent the 12 seasons that Mahindra Formula E has raced in every one of those seasons. Like Fred said, it, it was one of the founding teams for Formula E, which is amazing. You know, when I went to the London e Prix, Fred very kindly called us, I really heard, you know, it, e, e vehicles are supposed to be silent. But I really heard the sound of Formula E. You know, people talk about Formula One, but Formula E has a unique sound. The cars really, really scream. And that became, you know, our rallying call, Scream Electric, unabashedly Scream Electric. I can promise you one thing, it will be quite exciting and uh, with Formula E, always expect unexpected. So we need to make sure that we win now, that's the goal. So, we talked about acceleration, acceleration, excitement, all the stuffs. But now, here we go, the hottest carriage party of the year. It's about B6. Not just trending, but transcending. Trending is temporary. Transcending is cultural. From the Himalayas to Western Ghats, India discovered that B6 not only adopts to the terrain, but commands it. A compliment that I heard from a Jano is that this is not an Indian sports car, but it is the sports car of every Indian. B6 is more than a car, it's India's identity. The electric canvas, electric is an energy, canvas is where you project yourself into. You're energized to project yourself into. Okay, um, so speaking of cults and iconic cars that Velu was mentioning, uh, there's a new cult which is taking over India these days. Formula racing. It's no more just about being on the track. It's actually taken over our timelines, our wardrobes, our watches, basically everything. Um, from binge-worthy F1 series on Netflix, Drive to Survive, to the blockbuster, Brad Pitt's F1 movie. I mean, it's becoming a whole new vibe. And what I really love about this sport is the spirit, because it teaches uh, young Indians to dream big, to fail fast, to bounce back faster. What if we could bring that same attitude, that same energy, that same vibes to our Indian roads? And the answer, honestly, was pretty obvious. 
BE6. Because B6 is not a car, B6 is a vibe with its race ready cockpit, with its stance, its attitude. I mean, there's no other brand, no other SUV, no other electric that can carry that personality the B6 has. I want all of you to not just dream electric, but to scream electric because because we are super proud to present the world's first Formula E themed special edition B6. So you can see this introduction of these circular headlamps, a very sporty element that came in straight in the face of the, the B6. And then of course the team went further, detailed every element. Every element is actually optimized for aerodynamics, for weight, for, uh, for this sporty look. This, this beautiful, mysterious car, it, it really grabs your attention. You know, from any view, a, a race car or a sports car is, is dramatic in every view. You will see in the door trim, there's a, there's a clear, transparent piece. Uh, and you can look at the sheet metal through that piece. This is the first time any car has used that. Uh, again, to, to give a sense of lightness, to give a sense of sportiness. You're not sitting in a, in a regular car. You're sitting in a, in a, in a racing machine. And of course, delighted to have you as the brand ambassador for this. Would you like to say a couple of words, please? Hello, hello. Uh, yes. Um, I'll hold that for you. First of all, thank you. First of all, pleasure to be here, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, it's a massive honor for me to be a part of something like this, and obviously with a name like Mahindra, um, that's also going for the top in World Motorsport, but also one of the biggest manufacturers in India, and what I've grown up seeing on the roads. Absolutely. Uh, and to finally be a part of it is, is uh, a dream come real, and... Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to the whole management for, for having me here uh, in my hometown. Um, and thank you all so much for coming as well. Thank you, Kush. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Kush gave me a little bit of a mini heart attack on the just one round we made here. <laughs> Very clearly told me why I'm not doing formula driving as a career. Me and Nick <laughs> said who was going to go quicker, so I had to... Oh, that was the bet going. But anyway, thank you again. Delighted to have you here. Uh, the first 999 customers who buy the vehicles and take delivery for it. They'll get a collector's box with memorabilia. They'll get a track day at MSPT, which is our proving track in Chennai. If any of you haven't tried it, it's an amazing place. You got a special number decal, and you see the decal on the side of the car. So you're going to have a special number decal on your vehicles. And you'll have a name etched in the vehicle as well inside. And in the Mahindra Racing Headquarters, you'll have your name edge there as well. So amazing set of things coming together for the first 99 customers. It doesn't mean that we stop there. Of course, people will continue to buy that. And then we are like, you know, you got to do a little bit more. If it's racing, there has to be a podium finish. There has to be something for the top three customers. So the lucky customers, which we will do a lucky draw to lift it up, they're going to get access to the Formula E race in London in August. Tickets and paddock access. They get to meet and greet the Mahindra racing team, who you see here, and the May team, which is Pratap's design team in Europe. And they're going to get to have their own customized decal on the glass roof. So this is just three customers, very, very lucky customers, who are going to have a podium finish and get this. Why should only all the big mom and dad have the fun. Kids should have some fun as well. So I said, okay, this time, we are going to do something for the kids with the BE6 who are absolutely excited about the vehicle. So we're launching a little surprise for the little ones. Can we get the ride on out? two variants of the BE6 Formula E 
We are launching the first one, which is what we're calling BA6 Formula E FA2 edition. Amazing set of features coming together. 79 kilowatt battery. Has a super fast charging, which we do there as well. So performance, nothing to hold back on. 23.69. We have one more version of the vehicle, one more variant of it. So that's our FE3 edition for folks who really don't want to hold back on anything. They absolutely want everything in their vehicle as well. 24.49. Super stoked to show all the four variants here. But uh, thank you again and have a great evening.